Look what I found. This isn't a reptile. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. So we are traveling today. We're leaving LA and we're heading out to Chicago uh, to meet up with a friend of mine. Literally, I'm getting picked up by a giant. I'll show you guys what I, what I mean by getting picked up by a giant. But regardless, when you travel as much as I do, you learn that it's really important to give the sweep over in the apartment because I tell you, I have left so many things all over the place, so uh, gotta make sure, give it the once over, check all the outlets for batteries, check the bathroom for any thing you might have left behind, the bed because you might have tucked something in the covers. Uh, let's get out of here. Another overcast LA morning that will be beautiful by the time I'm gone. I don't know, uh, for some reason I, I feel like a donut. I'm gonna have to ask you to exit the donut. And here's the uh, Arby's uh, adult video store. Back home, the Arby's are just a little bit different than they are out here in California. Here, they really do got the meat. Hello. Okay, it's time to say goodbye to my trusty car. See you later. It was a good car. I freaking love Virgin Airlines. It's my favorite airline by far. Just how cool it looks. Just always so nice when it comes to uh, to things. Look at this. It's even got its own security checkpoint. Okay, through security. Now just off to the gate. I've got about 45 minutes, so I'm in great shape. I'll probably stop and get a couple of snacks, fill up my water bottle, and uh, wait for the plane. So that went really smoothly. Even Virgin Air's tickets are cool. Look at this. The normal ticket's like twice as long. It's a nice little cute ticket. Listen, to get the full thing, I'm gonna set the camera down. Here, hang on one second. This is, this is not how it's not here. <laughs> I told you, so me and uh, Andre over here are gonna get in this car and we're gonna go to the show. So I went from LA traffic to Chicago traffic, which isn't much better. Now, the downside of this is that the setup tonight at Tinley Park's Reptile Show that uh, Steph and Jessica are at, 
uh, ends pretty soon. So there's a chance that I came all this way. Listen, I'll be here for the weekend, but I wanted to get here to go through setup and kind of walk around the show, show you guys what's going on on Friday night before the show. Um, with this traffic that we're in right now, there is a chance that I may end up missing setup tonight and then I'll just have to show you guys in the morning so uh, either way we'll see what happens but man this traffic I don't know how people live in these cities all right we are at the hotel check in really quick and then uh, head over and I think I might be able to catch the last little bit of setup which would be cool so uh, all right brother Throw this stuff on me here. Thanks, brother. I'll talk to you. All right. I'll talk to you later, man. If I don't see uh, yeah, no, definitely. Don't. Hit me up. If, if if I don't see you, hit me up Sunday night. All right. Or something. Yes. Or, yeah, yeah, I'm the one bed. You're the one. All right. I'm just gonna head up to the room real quick. Just drop my luggage and all my stuff. Head down. It's cool. Just right down that hallway right there uh, to the left is the convention center. So what's nice is you don't even have to leave the hotel. It's wrong. Just right here. So, um, but head up real quick head down. I think I've got about a half hour left of setup, so we'll go in and see what's going on with our setup and then maybe walk around a little bit, show you guys what it's like on Friday. Where are the lights up in this place? Holy cow, it is dark. Ah, there we go. Alright, so our humble place for the next couple days from one hotel to another. Looks good, nice and comfy. Oh yeah. This hotel, I've stayed in. The, I've stayed in this hotel for the last like 10 years. It's actually a really comfortable bed in a really nice hotel. So I'm just dropping myself. I'm going to head down to this, the the uh, convention to see what's going on over there. Okay, so guys, it's uh, kind of a long hallway, but this is where the convention center is. You can see the sign here, convention center. It's all the way down that hallway right there. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> been dying to see you. I know, right? I've been dying to see you. Can I give you a hug? Dude. Oh going? my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> What's going on? Are man? you kidding me? Are you just going? getting here? I just got here, man. Are What's you recording? Up, this, up, this, this is so awesome. Man, What's going on, man? This is so awesome. It's been too long, man. I know, man. How you been, man? How you guys doing, man? This is yeah. great. Yeah. This is my first Tinley. Right? First yeah, Tinley. I'm not even oh, been here in for So I'm like, I'm on a free for all. I don't even have responsibility. I can just do what I want. I just flew in from LA. I mean, I, I landed like you know an hour ago, so I'm I'm uh, nice. heading heading to see how things are going and Dude, oh, just filming some you're fun. Walking stuff into the heat of it, right? <laughs> you're walking into the heat. Of it. <laughs> Like a 20, views Look at guys, this guy's famous, man. He's famous. Okay, so Jessica with her new colored hair and uh, Steph has the same colored hair, so that's that's interesting. But uh, they set up the booth without me. They did a wonderful job. I haven't seen that much, but I can already tell it looks fantastic. So uh, way to go, guys. Day one of the Tinley Park Reptile Expo, heading down to the convention center now, and uh, it's going to be a wild day. Uh, really, most people would say this is the biggest reptile convention in the country, so it's going to be absolutely epic. So this show is kind of one of the granddaddies of all the reptile shows, to be honest with you. It's been going on for about 15 years, and it is absolutely insane. So. Uh, <sighs> It's hard to really express how crazy this show gets, but uh, I'm gonna do the best to kind of show you guys. Uh, definitely the line, as a matter of fact, I'll show you the line here probably. It's like 7.30 in the morning now. The line by nine o'clock or so is gonna be out the door and down the street. I mean, it's pretty hardcore, so I'll get you guys the best feeling. Then tonight there's the auction, the charity auction, that's also really fun and crazy. We usually raise $100,000, $150,000 tonight, so, uh, gonna be crazy but uh you guys will see what i mean
right, so guys, if you ever wonder what my booth looks like here at the Reptile Show, this is my booth. I'll give you a really quick look real quick. So we have, basically, we have all the leopard geckos here. Leopard gecko, leopard, 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 leopard geckos. And then we get into ball pythons, a bunch of different ball pythons here. Uh, we normally have a backdrop up here, but uh, unfortunately our new backdrop didn't come in in time, so we have no backdrop for the show, but that's okay. And then of course some gear, some of that swag, and uh, just more of that. Then we have some cool blue tongue skinks here. Um, again, we got more ball pythons here. And then all the colubrids like milk snakes and king snakes and corn snakes and all that type of stuff. And then of course we have our swag thing here. So, so basically that is the booth. So uh, anyways, that's what it looks like. You guys want to have an idea of what it's like to see the line here at Tinley of people that want to get into this place. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Oh guys. Thanks man, thank you. Great man. Awesome. Man. Yeah. What's going on? How are you doing? You excited to be inside there? Oh, oh my gosh! That's hey guys, how are you? How you guys doing? <laughs> no, you can you can bug me anytime. What's up? Oh, thank you so much, man. Awesome. This guy right there. Yeah. Hey, how are? Hey, what's going on? Thanks. Appreciate it. Awesome, man. So guys, that's a crazy line, huh? Think about that. All those people, hours and hours hanging out. It's going to be a great day. This is absolutely awesome. And I found my buddies here. <laughs> hey, what's up? Ben and Lorenzo. Yeah. <laughs> so these guys are, uh, if you guys ever check out some of my crazy, cool, like, uh, he's my mangrove guy, Trebo stuff, all the cool stuff that you guys see on Instagram, uh, weird rat snakes, these two are responsible for it right here. So. They're, uh, Crazy weirdos. Yeah, Ben's the one that buys like this, this stuff that no one else in the world wants to buy. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna buy that. That's awesome. Give me two of them. <laughs> All right, so guys, one of the things that's really cool about reptile shows is just seeing all the interesting animals and seeing sometimes world first. I'm here with uh, with Colin and Matt from Manhattan Reptile. So I gotta show you guys his face. And they have a couple cool animals here that are really sick. So this one right here, believe it or not, is a pastel Enchi Champagne Mojave Fire. Fire. We think. <laughs> we, we think. think. So we think that that's five genes in the world's first, but take a look at that thing right there. I mean, that is just absolutely crazy. And then of course, this is a, it would really be an azanthic killer blast, which is a super pastel pinstripe spider, azanthic, which azanthic is recessive, but those are a couple of neat ball pythons. And, uh, and I tell you, it's just really cool. Again, when you're at reptile shows, not only are you getting to meet cool people like Matt and Colin, but you're also seeing really cool animals. And uh, well, it's awesome. And, and by the way, Manhattan is not in New York, right? <laughs> Where's it from, guys? Manhattan, Kansas. The Little Apple. Home of the Wildcats. <laughs> the li the li it's, the, it's the Little Apple. That's awesome. So, great job, guys. You did good. Thank you. <laughs> Rider? Yeah. Should I sign the baby? <laughs> 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 Thanks, Thank guys. You. Have a good one. <laughs> there you go. That was the first for me. So, guys, check it out, man. This is an awesome animal here. This happens to be a caiman lizard. Take a look at that. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? And what's what's his name again? Squirt. Squirt. Yep. Okay, his name is Squirt. Can we get some, Brian? Can we, Can we get some caiman lizards? Okay, Jessica. It wants to move from leopard geckos to caiman lizards, which I think would be a good idea, to be honest with you. So anyways, how awesome is that? Thank you. So guys, the show is over, but the line is still here. But the line now is for something different. Tonight is a charity auction. We raise money for US ARC, which is the political advocacy group for the reptile hobby, basically just fighting all the laws that are trying to outlaw reptiles. But take a look at this line right here. So it's all the way back there and all the way over there. <laughs> So there you go. I mean, that's pretty cool that this many people are going to a charity auction. So hopefully we'll raise a lot of money for a really good cause. Hey, so what's your name? 
All right, and what's up with this hair? It's awesome. Um, it's for my homecoming. For your homecoming? For school, That's awesome. yeah. It's a spirit week then, stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Is magical. I tell you what, what do you guys think? Should I do this? <laughs> For this guy from one of my Chicago vlogs and uh, we're gonna walk around and go look and see what this show is all about. This is the first time I've had a chance to get away from my table uh, during the, the mad rush. But uh, what are we going to look at? Uh, we're gonna see if we can find the yellow iguanas from Tom Crutchfield. Alright, so these are yellow iguanas from Tom, the Cut, Crutchfield train which are really beautiful. Yeah. Uh, this little guy's eating it too. Alright guys, so these Great. are the the albino iguanas, the, uh, oh, it's so pretty, huh? Take a look at that right there, guys. That is amazing. And again, the albinos are uh, something that's been around for maybe the last five, six years. And Tom Trutchfield has been one of the guys that has really pioneered a lot of these guys. Uh, not all of them. There's some other lines out there, but uh, these guys are really beautiful. And look at just the red markings on it. Now, the albinos don't have really great eyesight, which is good and bad. It's bad because you don't want to have an animal that it has a problem with seeing. But the other side is, is that makes them a little bit more docile because they don't have really great sight, so they don't like to just go running around like a normal iguana. But other than that, they're completely normal. And uh, some people actually like the fact that they're a little bit less crazy because of their eyesight issue. But regardless, it's just a beautiful animal. So we are now at Josh's Frog. Josh is the one that helped me out with the Bat 19 collab, sending me some cool frogs. Really good company. They have a lot of really cool products. They also have some really cool frogs. Like, check some of these things out. I mean, whoop, you can barely see them. Oh boy, that's terrible. Look at this guy. Boy, Don't you ever worry about guy. anything other than just texting all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I worry about texting all the time. I worry about being stuck on my phone for the rest of my life. <laughs>